welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. So if you're new to my channel, I am currently 34 weeks pregnant and I'm expecting my first baby. I'm having a baby girl. By the way, 34 weeks means I'm constantly out of breath. So I do have my Yeti right here and I'm just gonna keep drinking water and I'm also chewing gum because I find that that helps too. But I'll try not to be like super annoying. Like. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm packing in my hospital bag what I'm bringing to the hospital, what I'm packing in baby girl's bag. Some of the stuff I feel like is common things that I've seen in other what's in my hospital bag videos and then other things maybe are like unnecessary or you don't need to bring them but they're just gonna help me feel good. And at the end of the day, this is your special moment with you and your partner and your baby Bring whatever makes you happy. The other thing too, if you're delivering for the first time during all that's going on in the world, you know that it's a little bit harder too to pack your bag just because I didn't get to do a hospital tour. I've never gone through this. So usually at the hospital tour, they walk you around the room and they show you what the room looks like because then you kind of get a visual of what to pack. And then they'll also share what the hospital has so that you don't need to bring things that they're already gonna be giving you for free. But that was not an option this time around. So I did get a list from my hospital, but I, I felt like it just, there was things that they didn't put on there that I know that they're gonna have. So maybe I'm overpacking. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to keep it, not minimalist, but I'm trying to keep it like not too much stuff. But anyway, with all that being said, let's get into what's in my hospital bag. So the first thing is, I did get a new bag. This is from, I'm pretty sure she owns the brand, Shay Mitchell's brand, Bays or Bay. I don't know how to pronounce it. And it's just like this cute beige bag and it's called the weekender and i thought it would be perfect for a hospital bag and then i also got her cosmetic bag as well i just love the neutral colors and yeah we recently moved into our new house and some of the luggage we didn't end up bringing with us because we moved across the country so a lot of this stuff still needs to be washed just keep that in mind um, but I've just been storing it in this bag so that it doesn't get misplaced in our house and then I can't find it. So everything for the hospital bag has been put in here. When we get to baby girl's bag, all of that has been washed. So the first thing that I'm packing, and I feel like this is one of the things that it's not necessary to bring, um, but I wanted to bring it. And it's also something that I feel like you could forget. So if you do want to bring it, hopefully this video can remind you. It's the baby book. I'm covering a little bit of the cover because her name is on it. This has been my pregnancy book and I've been keeping bump photos in here, and ultrasound photos in here, and just a collage of everything that I'm preparing for baby. And in the end page, the last um, section is your arrival and it has your footprints. So I'm gonna ask them to put her footprints in the book. And this is something that I can see me forgetting, so it's going right in the bag. The next thing I have in here are two hospital gowns. So I have this polka dot one and I have this purple one that I think has like flowers. Yeah. These do open up in the front, so they kind of double as a nightgown too. So these are nursing friendly. And then they open in the back as well. Um, also an unnecessary item, like you don't have to have this in your hospital bag unless you want to deliver in style. <laughs> My husband's barber actually just delivered in the town over from us and he said that one of the things that him and his wife packed, they didn't even know if they were going to bring, were hospital gowns and it ended up being her favorite thing plus one other thing that she told me to bring. Um, I'll get to that in a second, but she said the hospital gowns were her favorite thing that she packed that people kind of laughed at, like you don't need to bring them. Yes, it looks cute for the photos, but she said that they were just more comfortable and the ones at the hospital were, were like paper thin and they were a little hard to breastfeed with. These are great because they just snap open. So you can just whip your boob out. Um, but I also love that they're cute and you get the first family photo. The next thing I'm probably going to wear to the hospital, depending on how I go into labor, like if my water breaks or if I feel contractions, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen the big day, but I'm planning on wearing my nursing bra there. So this came in a pack with three and I'm only packing one. And I saw videos where people were packing like three nursing bras and three tanks. That's just not me. Like whenever I'm recovering from something, like when I got my wisdom teeth out and then the last two years I got the gum grafting surgery that I told you guys about with my gums and I was both times I was just so, like I thought I would want all these things, but I just chilled like in a row. I'm the kind of person where I could just chill naked in bed. If you watch my Insta stories, like I'm always sitting there and people are like, are you naked under there? Like, yeah, yeah I am. For me, I don't need to pack like 
three or four nursing bras and then I don't want things to get disorganized. I'm making a whole postpartum basket of all essentials. So pads and tucks and special underwear and all that kind of stuff like that you're not going to see in this video because this is just what I'm packing at the hospital and the hospital is going to be providing a lot of that stuff. So that's why I'm not really packing and showing that that stuff. Moral of what I'm trying to say is that one nursing bra is enough for me because I'm going to be in a robe, naked, nightgowns, this. The next thing I'm packing is a nightgown. This is just, it's not maternity, just one that I've already had. Um, I'm pretty sure this is from, I don't know where this is from, but it's just like a pretty black long nightgown and it's kind of loose fitting up top and you can adjust the strap so I could just like easily pull out the boob, but it's soft, it's cottony and I know I'm gonna really like that. So I'm actually bringing, I'm actually bringing three nightgowns. I do wanna make sure I have enough nightgowns, especially if things get messy. So soft, you guys always see me in this one. This is definitely gonna be one of my postpartum um, essentials as well. And this is from Target. The last nightgown I got, and whatever I don't use in the hospital can, you know, be something I wear when I get home. But this one's really cute because it has lace on the bottom. And this is from Amazon. And this is another sleep gown. This is actually for wearing home from the hospital. And it's these maternity pants that kind of fold over. They kind of remind me of like yoga pants. They're just loose fitting. And this way, no matter what kind of birth I have, whether I push or whether I have a C-section, it's gonna be loose on the stomach area and the scar area. So that's gonna be my going home outfit. Along with this top that I got on Amazon as well. And it's just like the nursing bra, except it's a nursing tank. And this I believe came in a pack as well. The bra came in a pack of three and I think that these did as well. The next thing is snacks. So, so many people in their videos said it's so important to have snacks especially with what's going on. The hospital has less food options just due to sanitary reasons. And the only option might be a vending machine. You just wanna be prepared and bring your own snacks, especially if labor is gonna be a really long time. You'll just be a lot more comfortable if you bring your own snacks. So I actually got all of my snacks on at Thrive Market and this video is actually in collaboration with Thrive Market. So I'll talk about all of it, but if you're new to Thrive Market, it's my favorite online retail store. You can literally find so many different things there from healthy snacks to meat to organic wine, to baby products, to feminine products, supplements, protein powders, collagen, like literally everything that you could need. So many of my favorite things I find on Thrive Market and it's so nice because it comes straight to your door. But I actually showed this in my recent Thrive haul is I got a body lotion and I got a room spray. So these were other things that I saw in different girls hospital videos is that you wanna make sure you bring a body lotion or a body oil or both because the hospital is so dry and I'm already super dry. And guys, I seriously hate that feeling of like cracked dry legs. Like, ugh, just even thinking about it, I hate that. So I definitely wanna make myself as comfortable as possible. So I got this rose antioxidant cocoa butter with argan oil and aloe vera. So I got this cream on Thrive Market. Like I said, there's just so many different things from cosmetics to healthy food. And then this I also got from Thrive Market and it's a room spray. And this one is Palo Santo scent, which I love Palo Santo because it just makes you feel at ease and peaceful. But I got this idea from one of the nurses that works in my hospital. And she said that the room just kind of smells like a hospital and that she recommends all of her mamas to bring a room spray or a linen spray and it just gives that added touch but things that i picked out just like simple easy things so boom chicka pop this is my favorite popcorn it's all simple ingredients just popcorn oil and sea salt that's it actually all little mini bags in here which i think is perfect so i can have a little mini bag the next thing i got are kind protein peanut butter crunch bars I love anything peanut butter, but the great thing about these is they do have protein in them. So these might be a really good after labor snack. Everybody says after you deliver your baby, you are starving. You also lose a lot of nutrients, so it's good to replenish your body. I got two things of pretzel sticks. I got plain sea salt, and then I also got honey. I seriously love anything apples, especially during this pregnancy. So I got these organic apple chips. And then the last thing that I'm bringing is this paleo snack mix. And this has things like banana chips, cashews. It's flavored with organic apple cider vinegar, coconut oil, coconut aminos. So yeah, you can find all of those snacks plus so many more on Thrive's website. 
And the other great thing is that you can shop based on the category. So if you are gluten free or vegan or paleo or keto, and then everything on their website for that will come up. So it just makes things super easy. And their prices are 25 to 50% off retail value. So you're gonna find some of your favorite snacks or brands cheaper on Thrive Market. And they do have two new membership options, either the first one, which is a, just a one month membership option if you just wanna try it out. And that's $9.95 a month. And then they have the one year membership, which is what I do because I order from Thrive several times a month. And it only comes out to $5 a month. If you choose that membership, you can actually get a $20 shopping credit that they're giving to my subscribers. So I will leave everything down below. So going back to Jared's barber's wife, her second favorite thing that she packed that she said, I definitely need, but she said slippers. So I saw a lot of people post and say in their hospital bags that they had socks with grips. So for me, I'm not a sock person, I get super hot. So I just got these on Amazon. They're actually a Jessica Simpson brand. And I love that they're soft, but then they also have the grips on the back. So I think these will be perfect for getting up and walking around. These are Depend diapers. A lot of people have said these are their favorite. So they're just women's adult diapers and they kind of feel like underwear and they're stretchy and they're actually kind of cute, they're pink. These are actually gonna be like how I was saying before, I'm having a whole postpartum kit and I'm making a basket and I'm gonna have everything that I need in there for postpartum. But I am bringing a few with me because a lot of people said that these are way better than the mesh underwear with the pad situation. So I'm just gonna ask my nurses, can we use these instead? I'm gonna try to go home in these just so that I don't have to like sit in a pad. I'd rather just it all be like one piece, if that makes sense. This is again, kind of part of the postpartum essentials rather than your hospital bag but i'm bringing my own peri bottle so many people said bring your own peri bottle even though they do give you this at the hospital so if you don't have one you don't need one the reason why people were saying in their videos that these are better is because the spout actually faces you so you can get a nice even spray so what a peri bottle is good for is after birth it really burns to use the bathroom so a lot of girls were saying that while they're peeing they're spraying at the same time and it kind of dilutes it and makes it a lot more more comfortable for you and it's also a great way to wash down there as well the next thing that I'm bringing that I have seen in pretty much every video I watched is a Yeti so so many people said bring your own water bottle because you will be so thirsty in labor honestly guys I'm thirsty now while pregnant like I probably have had like three of these today four I just keep refilling it it's nice that it stays cold I guess what people were saying is that you bring your own water bottle and then the nurses keep refilling it with water. But if you don't bring your own water bottle, then you're just sipping water out of a tiny thing and you keep going through it faster. So I think that's why so many people were saying just bring your own. Plus, I like it really cold, like ice cold, and it stays really cold with the Yeti. Next to my hospital bag is my cosmetic bag. So we'll talk about this now. I'm going through some of the cosmetics because some of the things people said were really helpful. I'm bringing this soft headband that can also double as a scrunchie if I need it to. I'm also going to bring scrunchies Cheese. I need to definitely place an order on Amazon and just get a pack of them because I only have one right now. Everybody said bring scrunchies, but this bag is so nice. It also has a mirror in it. It has a place for your brushes, like just super easy. The next is a body wash. So many people said bring your own body wash. I would normally bring like a little small one, but this brand sent me this. Dry shampoo. Everyone says if you're not planning on washing your hair, which I'm not, I only wash my hair once a week. And hopefully if all goes well, I'm going into labor with a blowout. <laughs> so all I'll need to do is like a little refresher. Makeup wipes. So there's only like a few left in this one and it's perfect for my hospital bag because then it keeps it nice and flat. And I don't know how often I'll need to like wash my face. In a lot of these videos, I saw people were bringing face wash and all of that. I know me when I'm in the hospital and I'm in pain, I'm not gonna wanna wash my face. I saw some people brought on like full skincare. And honestly, like I said in the beginning of the video, bring whatever's going to make you feel the best. I just know me and I hate unpacking, especially when I know I didn't even use those things. So I know me and I'm not gonna be using a lot of skincare when I'm in the hospital. So makeup wipes, simple, easy, done. The next thing is a hydrating facial mist. This is by Dr. Robox. I like that it's a little small one and it has cucumber, vitamin B3. A lot of people said it's so nice to spray your face when you are in labor, when you're really hot, feeling sticky and all of that. It's just nice to give yourself a good spray, so bringing that. I'm bringing my favorite lip balm ever. This is actually a lip butter. It's by Summer Fridays. And this is like my favorite. Your lips just feel so good. And this is another product, just like the body lotion, 
So many have said, you guys have told me, my subscribers have told me, do not forget chapstick. You will want it in the hospital. You will feel so dry, you'll feel thirsty. And that's when your lips get chapped. And everyone said, you will want your chapstick. I might even want to bring a second one now that I'm thinking about it. Cause like, what if I lose this? Then I brought like just a few makeup products like foundation, um, a lipstick. Nothing crazy. I want to freshen up and especially for our first family photo, but I'm not bringing like a whole eyeshadow palette. I'll probably have my eyelash extension so that takes care of that. Lipstick, bronzer, foundation, that's all I really need. And then I'm packing two rose face masks. Again, just because it's super dry in there and I saw so many Insta stories and YouTube videos and so many people are like, you're just chilling there for a long time and it's just nice to kind of pamper yourself and feel good. So although I'm not bringing a ton of skincare, how easy is this to just throw on a mask if your skin is feeling really dry? So I'm bringing one for me and one for the hubby. He actually uses these all the time. But yeah, these, these ones are 100% vegan, cruelty free, and they're just single use sheet masks. So simple to throw in your bag if you do want to bring them. I'm not bringing my own toothbrush and toothpaste. I'm just going to use what they give me. I know they're going to give like a little kit and that's fine with me because I'm not bringing my electric toothbrush and my water flosser and all of that. Like I'm not bringing that to the hospital. Like that would really gross me out when we would go to leave. So for me, I'm not bringing that. Okay. So the next item is kind of an unnecessary item, but I'm bringing it and it's my own comforter. So I am the cozy queen. You guys know I love to be cozy. People have scared me when they said it's absolutely freezing in the hospital and the bed sheets are like paper thin. So especially when I mentioned before, I'm the kind of person where I didn't need to bring a ton of clothes to the hospital because I'm probably going to be naked just under my cozy covers with my newborn, with my husband. So I'm going to take it out. I'm just literally going to bring it like this with the handle and everything. With that being said, I'm also bringing my own pillow. I'm not bringing one for my house though. I'm just gonna go to the store, find one that feels good, get a pillowcase with it and use that. The only reason why I'm showing you this in this video is just to show you is that I am bringing my own pillow and people have said, don't bring ones in white pillowcases because it can get confused. You can also bring a pillow from your house. It's just once something's in the hospital, I know I'm not gonna be obsessed with it anymore. And then the last thing I'm bringing before we get into baby girl stuff, I'm also bringing a fuzzy robe. So you guys know I am the robe queen. I love robes, I'm always in a robe. Bring a robe, you will wanna wear a robe, especially if you just wanna like cover up a little bit, but be warm and it's so cold in the hospital. But for me, I like all cotton and like waffle robes. And it sounds like that won't really be that comfortable if it's gonna be really cold in the hospital. So I want something fuzzy, something cheap, something from like Walmart or Target. So definitely make sure you pack a robe. Oh, I almost forgot shoes. So people will say, make sure you have flip flops or something easy to get in and out of, or especially if you're gonna use the shower, you might wanna wear your flip flops in the shower. For me, I always wear Birkenstocks, pregnant or not pregnant. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be wearing my normal shoes that I would wear anyway. So I'm bringing my Birkenstocks, but now for baby girl's bag. So this diaper bag is so cute. I actually just got this from the brand Hap. And they literally, if you have not gotten a diaper bag, guys, you should definitely check them out. Their styles are so cute. Like they don't look like traditional diaper bags. Um, like they're, they just look like cozy. They're like soft and cozy style. And I also got the book bag style too. So I'll see which one I end up liking the best. I want to bring this one because it's pink and it's just so cute. Just like with me and my stuff, the hospital will provide so much for you and baby, like diapers, diaper cream. If you need a pump, they have a breast pump for you to use. So I'm not bringing anything like that. I'm more bringing things that I want her in for photos and just to come home in and her outfits and stuff like that. The first thing is a swaddle. Again, they're gonna provide this stuff for you, but I want her in this one. This one is just so cute with the stars and I do have to wash this. And this blanket is seriously so beautiful and soft. So I wanna bring this blanket too. I also might be bringing another one that has her initials on it, but it hasn't come in the mail yet. So I don't know. Hopefully that one does and then we can get a photo of her with her initials um in that blanket and then also have her baby blanket these things have all been washed just onesies so these are the onesies that i want her to wear they're all size newborn because these ones i was looking up the sizes i might pack one zero to three just in case but these all go up to nine pounds and i don't think she's gonna be nine pounds <laughs> but yeah this is i thought this one would be really cute i, I showed this in another video but this one as her coming home outfit so it's a little, cute little onesie with the matching little hat. Is that the last thing? Oh, 
and I also have pass pacifiers. So the hospital will provide pretty much everything else. And then I'm also going to be bringing nipple cream, which the one you guys told me to get hasn't arrived yet, the Earth Mama nipple cream. So I have to get that. And then I'm also bringing the boppy pillows. What I love about the boppy pillow is that this is great for them to lounge on and do tummy time, but it's also good for breastfeeding. So you put it like this and then she sits right there and apparently you want to have this, especially if you're a first time mom, to get in the position and it also helps if you're really sore and this can just ease you into breastfeeding. So I actually have not done like any research on breastfeeding. Um, I'm kind of going into it blind because the hospital does provide a lactation specialist who's going to come up. Um, after I'm done giving birth, my doctor said she's great. I don't know, that just works for my personality rather than stressing. I'd rather just try to figure it out when she's here. But yeah, the pillow, a lot of you guys said bring the boppy pillow with you to the hospital. Um, her car seat and this copper and pearl, what is this called? Multi-use cover. So you can cover the car seat with it. The car seat we went with is the same as the stroller. We went with the upper baby. And I don't think we're bringing the stroller. We're just gonna bring the car seat. So that is everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to check out Thrive Market. They have so many delicious and helpful products. They have cleaning products, literally everything. All the cleaning products that I've been using during pregnancy and feeling safe using have all been on Thrive Market. So definitely check them out. Also comment down below, are you a new mom? What are you packing in your hospital bag? Or if there's anything extra you think that I should pack that I didn't mention in today's video, definitely comment that down below. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon.